It's Monday, 14th of November, folks. This is Darth Mod, Ultimate Commander. The Darth Mod I downloaded before wasn't Ultimate Commander. On this one, look at this, I can get custom battles. Well, custom campaigns. That one up there is Denmark. Well, you can see it, can't you? Start year, 1700. Darth Mod's been absolutely brilliant with his attention to detail. Read through the stuff here. Now what I'm going to do is go through each of these pages here so that you can just pause them whenever you wish and then you can read it all for yourself so you know the situation for Denmark. Fascinating isn't it? I had no idea you know, that Denmark and Sweden have been so at loggerheads with each other for such a long period of time. No idea. Okay, you notice on the right there um, it's up to you while you're reading this, you can pause it or whatever. But on the right there, you'll see that I'm doing this campaign on hard. That's because Denmark is a very hard nation to play in the first place. And hard with a hard nation is exceptionally difficult. I've tried it on very hard. I've had a day, a couple of days, maybe even a week off and on, trying this game out just to find out how it plays out. And believe you me, on very hard, it's a nightmare. On here, you can't really see it, but it says world domination. You see that there? Um, let me just do that again so you can see that. There you go. World domination is the one that I've chosen. And these are the terms and conditions. I'm not sure how correct those are, because I haven't played one of these campaigns all the way through. And really, all I've done, let's get this started, all I've done is test this out just to see how it's going to work out. Um, so far, it hasn't worked out very well at all. I've played the first five or so turns and the poor old Danes just get absolutely murdered by everybody. Um, so it really is a challenge. Now I found this with the United Provinces and it's the reason why I did the United Provinces campaign in the first place. In fact the reason why I started to show, show YouTube videos because I thought well, this will give people an idea how to play and win as the uh, United Provinces, and of course you couldn't do it without being a seafaring nation. Denmark are in a worse situation, a much worse situation. <laughs> Here you go, Denmark. First of all, you see that we've got, um, uh, what was it, 916. The other areas we've got are worse. There you go, there's Norway. Um, uh, uh, no, sorry, that's Iceland at 60, and there's Norway at 668. So what have we got? About 1,500 income each turn. Great, that's going to sustain seven, eight units, you know, including ships. Nightmare. So, okay, first thing I've got to do is up the taxes, change the tax policy. There's absolutely no way we're going to survive like that. Okay, so it won't take that, but it will take that. Okay, so I'm going to go for... Uh, a change in tax policy, which is going to increase our income in total to a staggering, oh, I know you're going to be extremely impressed with this, 2,110. I mean, I might be able to sustain 15 units. Buying anything? Oh, no, I don't think that's going to happen, really. <laughs> okay, over we go. I'm going to, um, I, I'm going to get the uh, plug bayonet. Uh, the reason why I'm going to get the plug bayonet is because we're going to need to fight somebody at some point, and we're going to need somebody to fight them with. And various countries like Prussia, etc., start with the plug bayonet. Sweden are going to go to war with me, whatever happens. Um, and I can't really show you in here at the moment, um, but Sweden are going to have about 3,000, well, certainly two and a half from that one place. They've also got St. Petersburg down here, which is another two, two and a half thousand. So, okay, you're getting it on normal taxation. When you add up the places they've got, they've got about six, seven thousand every turn coming in. They've got barracks, they've got more sophisticated buildings. I don't think they've got any tech, though, to be honest with you, but can't have absolutely everything, can they? <laughs> I don't suppose. Maybe they can. I oh, don't know. Anyway, okay, the um, first thing I want to do is um, defend my weakest area. Well, apart from Iceland, that is. Iceland is just a giveaway. I mean, you know, Iceland, we, we have um, a company called Iceland in, um, in our country. And it's a fairly cheap sort of meat store. You know, the idea is that they freeze things and sell things for a very cheap price, you know, because it's all frozen meats. Uh, Iceland, in this case, is 
a heck of a lot cheaper even than Iceland the store. <laughs> Iceland is a giveaway. Yeah, it is basically if you decide you don't want to kill me immediately, then I will give you Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> Iceland, as you know, was worth 60. It's now, now I've increased the taxes, I didn't show you that, it's now worth 200. So, a little bit better. Not brilliant, but certainly not worth risking any forces on. Um, so, I'm going to bring these troops over here. Over to my weakest point. Uh, oops, I don't know why I do that. I do that every time, then I? Select those and do that. Now, okay. Let's take these over to my weakest point. Now, the reason why this is the weakest point is, I mean, you'd think I should put them into the um, port first, shouldn't you? But no way. It'd take too long to get there. If I put them over here, yep, and start them on their mission here, they're too far away. Somebody would jump in there and take this place from me before <laughs> I've had a chance to say Jack Robinson. So, yeah, it's pretty wicked, this. Now, wicked is a modern term, isn't it? Now, it, it tends to mean good for some reason. I don't mean wicked in good. I mean wicked as in, you know, pretty nasty. <laughs> That's what I mean. So, uh, okay, right, I'm going to go for this one. I know I'm declaring war. No choice, really. Um, Poland, Lithuania and Russia. Main reason why I want to declare war. Um, it's okay, Poland, Lithuania aren't going to join in. Um, but it's basically because uh, I need to have Russia at war with Sweden. So at least Sweden have got something else to think about. Okay, now I'm just going to go around damaging their buildings and leave my man on there. I've gone for the no fort option, which means that that fort that's there doesn't really exist. Anybody attacks? It's not there. Any forts around cities or anything? Not there. So I can't rely on defending myself with my own walls either in the early part of this game. So none of that stuff. Right, okay, with this one, I'm going to do as much damage as I can. So, let's um, see if I can damage this place. Now, this is start-up position, and start-up never changes, so I'm pretty um, sure that I can go in there and wreck this place as many times as I like. I hope so, anyway. Um, yeah, I think I can get rid of that and get... Yeah, okay. Yep, thought I'd take the risk. At other times, what I've done is moved my ships up to there. It sounds like I've done this millions of times, doesn't it? But um, no, I haven't. So anyway, I'm going in and out of here. You just watch this now for this time, um, because next time I'm going to hide this so you don't see it every time. You see the damage on there? Um, well, I say hide it. I'm going to do it off camera. What I'm doing is keeping an eye all the time on, on the distance my ship can move, because I want to put him in this port here. That's going to become an important port for me. Okay, so out to here. Over to here. How oh, well, far have we done? You see that? About another three times, do you think? Perhaps. I think I worked it out. I think it has to go in about nine times. Not too sure. But anyway, it's going to take about, I don't know, 20 seconds of video time to do that. So there's no point in wasting people's time watching that in the future, is it? So next time I say I'm going to go and wreck the port, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so move those into there. Right. And move these over into there to join them. Because, believe you me, I'm going to need the best fleet that I can to be able to survive this game. Right, naval recruitment. I'm going to get um, a fifth rate in there. And I'm going to go for uh, what's that? a fifth rate over there as well. And I'm going to take a bit of a risk. I'm going to see if I can get trade as well with someone. Um, hmm, it is a big risk, believe you me. Um, so... Uh, oh, before I do that, let's build the town hall. I want this. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll just leave it over there for a second for you, and then you can see exactly what I'm going to get for that. Um, basically, it's the best way that I'm going to earn some money in the short term. Right, now I'm going to get some buildings that give me some farms. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm going to get some buildings that can be upgraded. So I'll have the logging camp. And there aren't many, so I shouldn't worry too much about these. Not going for that one. I do want to go for farms, but I don't want to go for them in Iceland, though, because Iceland, like I said, is going to be a key target for somebody to go for almost immediately in this game. Uh, is that... where is that? That's Norway, is it? Yeah, I'll go for that one. And... Uh, yeah, oh. I think you'll find that that's probably about it. Um, I do need a barracks in here as well. Although I can't afford very good troops, I need to make sure that the ones that I do afford 
are the best ones that I can get. Okay, so, yeah, I've got a staggering 306 left. Wow, what am I going to do with all of that money, eh? Right, well, um, I, I might try for trade. Now, um, the uh, from experience, the Ottoman Empire have some tech that I might want. These two. Let's see if they'll give me trade for that. Uh, nope. Might they be flogged for making such a suggestion? Okay, so we try for something else then. Um, I could do a trade with somebody, please. Request trade agreement and tech. But I'd like something else as well as the trade. And I can only trade with a couple of people, so I need to find out who the ones are with tech. Um, no, hang on a minute. Yeah, just a one, that's right. Let's try that then. No. Nope. Okay, they're not going to go for that. Right, okay, what I'm going to do now, instead of wasting your time, I'm going to go through all of these here. Uh, I'm going to see if there are any that I can get tech from, and then I'll just have to tell you which ones I got it from. So, okay, back in a second, after I've spent about half an hour negotiating, let's say. Well, although that wasn't a waste of your time, it certainly was of mine. Nobody wants to trade with me. I don't want to start trading now, even though I need the money because trade is a negotiating power for me. Not only that, it starts this as a trade area um, and once that becomes a trading port there, um, people are attracted to it and they'll go and attack it. The other disadvantage I've given to myself in this game, yes, I'm really hammering myself in this game, aren't I, is that I've made the um, artillery, um, all artillery, that includes ships, I'm pretty sure, 25% quicker at firing. Now that will have serious ramifications. Let's talk about that when I end the turn. Right, uh, some of you will know my tactic in ship battles is um, to continue rotating my ships so that I can um, fire at the enemy um, with a grape shot and take out their sails. Um, now, that's okay, um, but the trouble is, in, in this game, um, the ships fire much faster than they normally would do. So while I'm rotating my ships, I normally have a bit of breathing space while his ships are attempting to shoot at me. Unfortunately, that's not the case now. They'll shoot at me much quicker than they normally would. So I don't have the same sort of advantage that I had. I still have a little bit, because I can fire a little bit quicker than they can by swivelling round. But it's very, very marginal. So I'm losing a big advantage by doing that. So, OK, building constructed. Good. I've got something that's going to bring me a little bit of money in. What have I got? I've got 2,069. But don't forget, I didn't recruit anything at all last turn. So, right, new ports emerged. Now, I've wanted in the past loads of things on here. Like I said, I've tried this about five times. <coughs> Excuse me. And every time I've gone for a shipyard, don't go for a shipyard. Waste of time. It's going to be ages before you can upgrade it from anything but a shipyard, and a fishery will get you better ships than a shipyard will until you can upgrade it to a dockyard. And a fishery will give you some money as well. And money is so important to us guys here at the moment. Who's declared war? United Provinces and Spain. Very good. Okay. I don't think we're too worried about that one. Right. Um, now, I wonder why Iceland hasn't been attacked by anybody yet. I think it's because I'm trying this on hard instead of very hard. Normally I play this game on very hard and Britain will instantly go to war with you. It'll attack either Norway or Iceland with a large army and a large fleet. So looks like that's the difference between hard and very hard. Great. Pleased about that. Now, let's go wrecking these. We did it before, we'll do it again. Go on to there. Not onto there. This one over to here. You notice I'm not going back into the fort because, like I said before, there's absolutely no point because um, the forts are useless. The reason why I put these over here is, like I said, Britain tends to go for one or the other, so it normally tends to go for Iceland. Um, I, I'm just covering my tracks here and doing, you know, because I'm used to playing it on very hard, so I'm going to put those in there. I perhaps don't need them in there but um, anymore, but mm, I'm, I don't want to take the risk, to be honest with you. OK, um, let's go and destroy the Swedish port again. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these over there, destroy the port, and then put them back again. Let's go and do that off camera. 
And hey presto, as if by magic, we have a completely ruined trading port. Excellent. Um, now the other thing I do need to do in here is I'm going to recruit one of these. Recruit, uh, sorry, uh, Regiment of Horse. Um, they're important to me because they're going to be part of a, a, a regular army. They're, uh, they're still the troops that I can get that are pretty decent. Um, but the main thing they do is they cast, you can't really see it here now because I haven't got one yet, um, they cast us on like a red zone control over there. So the enemy can't enter here without directly attacking there. Otherwise the Swedes will bring a brilliant army up here, they'll march it straight through here and attack all these places. And the reason why they won't attack here is because this has, I don't know if you can see it there, you should hopefully see it just against that green band that's going around. You see that there? Just there. Right, okay. That means I've got an army in there. Um, it's not as brilliant as the other Darth mods, you know, with all the mortars and stuff like that that you get in there. But And of course there's no buildings to protect it, no no walls or anything, uh, but it's there isn't it, you know, so it does put them off attacking directly with the armies that we get at the beginning of this game, so okay, well that's about it for now, I've got loads and loads of money that I can spend on other things so let's go for it, I should now get the plug bayonet all things being even hmm, Austria Uh, so far, nobody's gone for Iceland, uh, touch wood. Britain haven't attacked me yet. Sweden haven't done anything risky yet. They haven't come for me yet. Oh, here we go. Haven't got to them yet, have we? Oh, no. Nothing significant seems to have happened from the Swedish front. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about the Iroquois. In fact, we don't really need to worry about any of these, do we? <laughs> so, uh, I'll bring you back in when these have all finished. Oh, hang on, we're there anyway. Okay, right, building constructed, good, a little bit more money for me, 2,281, staggering amount, what am I going to do with it all? Trait gained, what have we got here? Happiness, minus one happiness lower classes, minus three clamour for reform, hmm, uh, plus one happiness stability. Now that might cause a problem for me, plus two management for treasury, minus four to global tax income, great, so I'm getting less money, and my people are less happy. Um, not good. Let's just have a quick look at the regions again. We're still on yellow. Uh, look, all the economies are dropping. No choice. I need the money, I'm afraid, folks. Um, other people say, no, no, what you need to do is... Um, uh, oops, let's have a quick look. Ah, it will stay, sustain an even higher tax on the nobility. I'm going to go for that. Hey, politicians, are you watching this? Hey, the nobility can sustain a higher tax? Come on, listen here. Now, not ability, okay, but they're wealthy anyway. Right, okay, uh, I've got my two ships up here. Pleased about that. What have we got there? War declared. Poland, Lithuania and Austria. No complaints there. War declared. Austria and the Ottoman Empire. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Let's get this, this ship from here. I wonder how much movement we've got with those fifth rates. Not a vast amount. Uh, there's a little bit there, though. Shouldn't complain, should I? Okay. Let's bring that fifth rate, then. Down to here. We're going to go and find some Swedes. Since they haven't come for me yet, I've bought myself a little bit of time by being on hard and not on very hard. Um, let's uh, get him through there. Okay. And out this end. And just a little tip for people if they're interested, don't move all of your units into there to wreck him because all you'll do is you'll get one slight portion of this by going in there once. Basically he loses something on here for every time it's entered, not by the number of ships that enter it. So what I'm going to do is move each ship one at a time through there and then um, then move them onto there and then move on from there and then on my way back I'll wreck it again just to make sure that it's completely wrecked. Okay, I'm going to do that and you'll find all my ships magically will be, hey presto, all the way over here. Hey voila, one um, slightly wrecked port. So let's move on from here, everybody's together now. So I've got my two new fifth rates bolstering my fleet. Um, and I've got my whole fleet in place with my Admiral. So what I'm going to do now is take a risk, and I'm going to go up here and see if I can damage that one. But I'm experienced enough to know 
that he hides not only an army around there to protect um, his place. In fact, actually, looking at that, it looks like that's all he's got there. Oh no, the army is there as well, isn't it? Yeah, he protects this with an army. Obviously, he's got such a big garrison in there, he leaves his army outside. He's not worried about it. And what he'll do is he'll leave his... Um, uh, his uh, ship's outside there as well um, to protect it, so you can't land anybody there as well. So he's very, very well protected. So anyway, okay, pass blocked. Yeah, understand that. But I know from experience that I've got enough ships to be able to take this on. He's got one sloop, one brig, one six rate, and he's also got a fifth rate. So, um, like I said, um, I'm going to go in there, start the battle, um, so I'll I'll flick straight over into there, save you time on the, the build-up, start-up and everything like that. Um, and... Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go for it. You know, what I was going to say then was I'll do all this bit, but... No, I might as well show you these, hadn't I? So, okay, there you go. You know what we're taking on. Very similar. I would lose that, by the way. That would be a defeat on hard. Um, there's no doubt about it. Tried this loads of times. It must be about, I said about five times. I've probably played this about ten or more times on very hard. I think it's just impossible on very hard. You're too small, no income. Everybody gets too big for you. They all attack you. You're dead, basically. Not that I've ever been destroyed, but I just know the writing's on the wall. Anyway, I'm going to go for this, and I'll bring you into the middle of the battle. OK, never an easy thing to do is crossing the T. Unfortunately, I missed the first shot. I put it on super fast speed while we got into position, and the first shots have been fired. Um, I'm trying to get into a position where I can cross that T. As you can see, it's extremely difficult. We were formed up facing that way into the wind. He, he got the wind advantage, which I think is really unfair when you think um, uh, that I attacked him. Surely I would choose to attack from where I had the wind advantage, but it's not given me that, so what can I say? Can't say any more, really. Um, he's got 48 out of 48 still left in there, which is also a little bit unfair, isn't it? But, OK, moan, groan. Uh, 19 out of 20-something left. I think I might just almost be in range of chain with him in a minute. Let's just try that, shall we? What are we going to get there? 19 out of 20-something? Don't know. OK, keep moving. Is he going to fire? Still only 19. Why have we only got 19? Come on, they had 19 ages ago. We're going to get a shot in there. Why is he still only 19 out of 23? 22? 23. Right, now. Come on. Take some sail out. Excellent. Right, I'm going to try this. It's not likely. But if I can get him to anchor there, which is very hard to do, there's the anchor, then we should, a little bit of luck, be able to do him some damage there. Let's bring him round as well. Come on. Why won't you let me choose you? Come on. Right. OK. don't think it's going to let me get away with that, but I'm going to stay there at anchor and see if I can do it. I want to cause him a great deal of damage. Uh, this one here. Now, has he got any right side? Nope, not yet. Well, he will have shortly. Now, he's going to be firing as well. Has he got any right side? Shortly, yes. Come on. Take some of that sail away. Right, brilliant. OK. He's taken a lot of hull damage. It's a 6 or 8, you see. Mm, he can't cope with that, can he? Uh, bring him round a bit here. Can they start hitting with chain? Yes, they can. Let's bring him through there, see if that makes a difference. They're going level with each other, those two, aren't they? What on earth's going on there? He's got 46 guns. And we've got 46. 
But we need to fire up there against his... Oh, hang on a minute. We're going to have a chance here in a minute. What's that one there? Six or eight. He's just fired his right side. Right, let's get the left side in there. Right, let's get these through here. Firing chain. And that one there. Okay, sloop against sloop. Let's go for that. How are we doing here? Right side, left side. Come on, completely round. How are we doing against those sails on that one? We're now down to 46. And he's on 46 as well. Any right side left? No right side. We've got left side though. We turn to the left? I think so. Okay. Come on. Now, hoping turning him round will get a bit of a, a shot in against somebody's sails. Did that go through? Yep, we took one down, didn't we? Okay, let's turn back this way and have another go. What we have to watch out most for is that ship there being able to hit our sloop. That's bad news if that happens. Very bad news. Okay. Come on, why aren't you moving? No, you're not gonna you're not gonna have it, are you? Right, okay, he's gonna have any right side left in a minute. Just enough. To get a shot in against there, that's what we want. Come on. Right side. It's taking a lot of hull damage. See all that on there? Come on. Blast some sails away. And stop his flagship doing any more damage. What's that? Enemy Admiral killed. Excellent. Surrendered. Fantastic. His fifth rate surrendered. That's exactly what we wanted. Now, what have we got here now? We've got a mess here now. Let's bring these over. These battles can go either way. It's not easy, folks. It's really not easy. <sighs> right, okay. Chain with that uh, sloop. In fact, I think I'm going to bring him round here. He's going to take too long to get round there, isn't he? Uh, this one. What is that? A brig? Now, I want to slow that down. Uh, what is that? Uh, is that... Which ship is that? Right, okay. Well, at least my Admiral's flagship is um, intact. Let's see if we can take some sail away here. Have we got any left side? Not for a while we won't have. What's that one? Six ray. He's going for that six ray, isn't he, with that brig? Because he knows he's taking hull damage. Come on, you going to get him soon? Well, fairly soon. What's that? Wavering. Fifth rate. Why is that wavering? Routing. Well, maybe routing isn't such a bad thing because it'll save him. I can't afford to lose ships in this, that's the problem. Come on, why aren't you shooting? Right. In fact, to be honest, if I lose one of my fifth rates, it might not be too bad a thing. Yeah. Because that means I've got less ships to pay for afterwards, won't it? <laughs> yeah. Come on, any left side? No, nope, not yet. Right, he should be struggling. Yeah, break surrendered. Excellent. Right. Okay, what's that one? That's a fifth rate. He's still got guns left. He's happy enough. Great. In fact, it looks like my other one isn't surrendered anymore. That's not good news, really. I'd rather have him surrendered than at risk. Six rate. Well, I'm going to get him out of the way over there. And let's bring him round here. Come on, take out that sloop's guns. Not guns, sorry. Take out his sails so he can't get away. And let's hope he'll surrender. Okay. Well, he's coming into action, him. 
wonder why. Why he feels so confident all of a sudden. It's only a six rate. Come on. 33 guns left. He's got 29. So don't be fooled by this. You know. We're a better ship. Because it's all down really to the number of guns that you can bear. You know. He's going to be at risk now, you know. Okay. Six rate against sloop. In fact, what I'll do is he fired his right side. Oh, hang on, what happened then? Sinking. Great. So I've lost a fifth rate. Mm. Okay, I am going to suffer that loss of the fifth rate because it'll cheapen my uh, navy in the future. It must be that sixth rate that caused all the damage to that, you know. Surrendered and sinking. When it says sinking, you've had it, I'm afraid. Nothing's going to rescue that one. I wonder, actually. I don't think I can board my own, can I? No, I can't. No. sinking but not sunk. Continue. That means he's going to get away if he can. Right, okay. Ah, you see how much cleverer they are with sails in this one. It means that, you know, he lifts his sails just at the point when you're going to fire at his sail, so you don't get the same kind of damage to him as you would do normally. And his guns are firing much faster than normal as well, so I'm getting a lot more hull damage than I normally would while I'm trying to take out his sails. Now that's the disadvantage that I've given to myself, really, but I like the idea that artillery is firing faster than it normally would do. Routing, hull damage. I think it's only right. I think I just have to learn to play better, you know. Come on. What is that? That's my sloop. Okay. Sloop in the wind will do well. But I don't want it to take a hit. That's the problem. So I need to watch that very carefully and move him in when the time comes. Who's that? That's my fifth rate. Still sh still sinking. And it's surrendered. They did used to say at one time, you know, if you boarded or you went against a ship that is sinking, then you can save it from sinking. Well, I've never been convinced by that one. Oh, good. Right, I'm sure I've lost a ship. But with the amount of money that I'm going to get, and I won't have to repair that ship now, so it won't cost me so much, um, I'm not sure it's such a bad thing, to be honest. Right, I lost a ship. I've gained all of these, and I'm going to get 3,500 almost from those ships. So I'll accept that. Okay. Come on, get down quickly. Right, now, send a sloop. into here to damage his port umpteen times, right? I don't know why it's gone slow again like that. Right, okay. Um, okay, th they've got to be able to get back to that port, really. So, as long as I can do that, all will be well. So, let's keep going in and out of here. Come 
we still get in there? Yes, we can. What I have to hope for as well, you know, is that the sloop that was um, sunk um, is the one that was coming the furthest distance away, which means that all my ships will be able to get back to the port. You know, because the one that was in the far port, the one that was raised in Norway, that won't be able to... Um, uh, well, let me just check this first. Oh, I'm thinking, yeah, that's done, isn't it? Okay. Ah, of course, I didn't completely damage that either, did I? Let's get back here and do that as well. Um, yeah, the one that came from all, all the way over here, that won't have the movement rate to be able to get back. So let's see if we can get back. Oh, yes, look. That's good. means the whole fleet can get back and repair. The ones that have come from here wouldn't have been able to, so that's the ship that sunk. So it's actually worked to my favour, that one, so that's good news. Right, what have we got in here then? Okay. Um, take the ship out of here. Into there. Into there. Into there. Into there. We should still have time to be able to get over to that port. So let's have a look. Uh, yep. Yeah. When I say time, I mean movement distance, you know. So, is that done? Yep, pretty good these sloops, aren't they? Oops. Right, and into there. Okay, and... Fleet. What's left of it? From there, over into here. And then I'll repair. So, loads and loads of money made that turn. And one of these um, fifth rates is cost will cost 257 per turn. I don't know how much it costs to um, to recruit one. To be honest, uh, fifth rate will cost 320. Oh no, no, that's upkeep cost. 320 is normal upkeep cost to build one. Oh yeah, it costs actually 1,200 and something. If I can do without one for a while though, it's got to be good, isn't it? I think it has. So let's repair these so we can use them again. Um, so, okay, I built two fifth rates and lost one, but I got a lot, a lot of prize money as well from attacking his ships. And of course, I, I've saved myself about 300 and something upkeep as well from the one that I lost. And I've managed to get them all back to port. I wouldn't have been able to do that otherwise. So that's probably worked well in my favour, actually. I just hope no massive fleet comes over and attacks me now. Otherwise, we will be struggling. So where are we? Summer 1701. Um... Uh, I need to build a town hall in here. He hasn't attacked me, which means that I might still stand a chance of surviving up there. Um, and I'll just destroy these northern buildings again, like I do. Okay. This one down to here. Okay. Over to there. I'm back again. In fact, I might have well damaged that one twice, hadn't I? I can still get back and join those. Yep, why didn't I think of that before? Okay, doing just a little bit more damage to that one there in the middle. So, Okay, um, I think that's about it, really, to be honest, for the end of that turn. Let's see where we go from here. I think it's just going to be... I've got loads and loads of money, so why don't I recruit? I think maybe now's my time, you know, that I should begin to uh, to recruit. Um, but I can't really afford it, can I, at this stage? Beso no, I'll not recruit until I've got some better barracks, some better... Um, I, I it, until I can get some better troops in there, I should say. Right, what are we getting here now? We're still getting the, uh, the plug bay in it. Um, diplomacy, I think, forget it, because... Um, I, I don't know. I haven't got anything to bargain with, really, at the moment. So it's not worth looking at it. So, end the turn. Right. Let's see what happens now. Now I haven't got a fleet as quite as good as I'd like it to be. Is somebody going to attack me? i tell you what, there is an incredible difference between hard and very hard on this. There really is. Uh, being such, like I said, a small, impoverished nation... Um, when the big nations go for you, you're dead meat. You really are dead meat. Um, so it, it's kept it's kept Britain away from me. Britain has not attacked Iceland. Britain has not attacked um, uh, any. It's not attacked Norway. It's not 
um, tried to attack my fleets. It's not blockaded a port to stop my fleet getting out. It's done, it's done absolutely nothing. It's not attacked Norway. So it really has made a substantial difference. It really has. I think it's the only way, to be honest. I would not try this on very hard. Well, I have done lots and lots of times. I wouldn't recommend it. That's what I'm saying. Carbines, I don't think I'm interested in. Agent recruited. Ah, right. Good. All right, let's put him in here. Let's see what we can um, uh, research. Okay, so that's going to cost me three. That will cost me four. And that will cost me three. Let's see what happens when the agent goes in. Okay. So it is It is now two. It, oh, it's still three. And it's two on there as well. So that's brilliant. Empiricism has improved. These all give me extra money, which is really, really good. Um, but unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to go for the uh, bayonet, you know, the ring bayonet. Um... I just need it. I just need that kind of research. There's no doubt about it. I, I need to be able to fight effectively. So I, I do wonder, though, if I can trade perhaps those plug bayonets with somebody who's a long way away from me. It's not going to be too much of a risk. Technology. Can I do a plug bayonet for maybe canister shot? What do you think? Please? No, they're not going to have it, are they? Okay. I, I want to be able to bargain with me, I'm afraid. So maybe now's the time that I should be going for trade anyway so maybe I should give them trade as well and they'll give me something else oh I don't know let's think about that trade gained trade gained thank you construction report barracks and local fishery that's brilliant okay agent recruited yep we know about that one already um, he saved us a bit of um, technological research time so what are we up to now winter 1701 well, the first thing I'm going to do is wreck the port. That's this one here. And I'm going to go in and wreck that port as well. I'm going to do all that with my sloop, supported by my fleet. And um, I think that's probably the best way to do that. So I'll get that one over with. And then what I'll do is, once I've destroyed all of those, and destroyed these northern areas with this army here, I'll bring you back into the game. Just so you don't have to get bored with the, um, you know, just watching that happen. Okay, as promised, all completely wrecked. So, um, I could show you the other one as well, but I'm sure you believe me. <laughs> right, a uh, bit of recruitment in here now. Let's see if I can get some of these decent chaps. Now we've got the uh, plug bayonet. It'd be nice to have the ring bayonet as well. How far off is that? Whoops, looking at the wrong thing. This one here. Uh, still three turns away. Mm, quite some time off. Okay, um, I think I need to... Uh, upgrade some buildings. Do I risk doing some of those that are over there in... Um, hmm. So whether I risk building some of those that are over there in Iceland. Tempting, isn't it? Uh, let's have a quick whiz, whiz around all the buildings and see what we've got that we can make some money out of, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Was that? Oh, right. Okay, no. I don't want that one. That's too close to the... Um, you know, to the Swedish border there. I don't quite know how much that gives me. Anyway, 875 is pretty good, you know. I don't risk it, though. Dare I invest in Iceland? This is the big question. Don't oh, blow it. Let's have a go. 300. will give me 300. And I'm currently yielding... 200. So it's only going to give me another 100, isn't it? I'm going to ignore that, to be honest. I'll, I'll just ignore that one. Right, okay, so a bit of a risk on Iceland there. Um, well, a punt, you might call it. Uh, right, okay, so everything damaged everywhere. Um, we're just waiting for, um, do, waiting to get the technology that we need, really, to go for it, I think, and then, you know, um, recruit some more in here. So, okay, let's see what the turn end brings on now, then. Right. The government chambers should be done in there soon, you know. Once they're done, I think we can recruit more. I think we can step up the recruitment rate, perhaps, to three units instead of two. Wow, isn't that exciting? <laughs> uh, it's, well, it's when you compare it with just having come out of the Poland-Lithuania campaign, where I've had so many armies and so much money, I didn't know what to do with them all. I put them all on ships and attacked America with them, and I just sort of 
basically always a bit like um, the Chinese talking to the Americans, wasn't it, during the, uh, was it the Korean War? I've got more men than you've got bullets. Well, <laughs> it was just like that, wasn't it? Um, that's a tempting target, that one, isn't it? It is. It's very close. Okay, what have we got there? Building constructed. Uh, yep, thank you very much. Um, now, I need to recruit in here again, I'm afraid. How far is that off, anyway? Oh, it's still another turn away, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. I, it's ruining my economy, this very high tax rate I've got on here, you know, but it's going to have to be done. Right, I'm going to go in here and wreck places again. Oh, hang on. Is that still... Oh no, he's repaired it. I was going to say, I thought he hadn't wrecked it then for a minute. I thought he'd, um, he'd left it, rather. Let's start by moving this one in here. And just do the first damage. Oops. Right, okay. Uh, well, I, I'm going to go in and wreck this one anyway, and then um, I'll go in and wreck the other one over here as well, and I'll show you when I've finished wrecking that one over there. I'll shorten the time a bit, won't it? Okay, that's that done. That's completely destroyed. The other port's completely destroyed as well. I've also destroyed those buildings over there as well. Not destroyed completely those, but damaged them badly anyway. So, you notice he's got more troops in here now, so it's making it very difficult for me. Um, I don't know, what can I do? That is my key target, it has to be, because um, it, it's it's a good income. It's a very, very good income compared with everything else there is in this area. Unless I'm to turn in on, on Hanover, of course. Okay, move the ships back. Like I said, everything else is damaged. Let's recruit in here again. Oh, ah, I've already recruited in here. What am I thinking of? Um, it's because I got these last time, wasn't it? Okay, it's, we must be two turns away now from the, um, uh, the ring bayonet. Um, I'm not sure it's worth upgrading any of these, I'm really not. Um, I thought I could get hmm, another town hall or something, but I don't think I can, can I? I think I'm just going to have to settle for that. Yeah, okay. Look over another quick look in Iceland. Again, this taxation is crippling me. Uh, but it has to be done, I'm afraid. Uh, I can't afford to be spending 900 now just to get a portion of 100 that I'm going to get for that. It's just not worth doing it, I don't think, at all. So, OK, there's nothing in there. And unless I risk the logging camp, there's nothing that I can do in there either. So, OK, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I don't think I can get anything else, can I? I could get this to make the population happier, but I'm not going to. Again, spending money, which I don't need to spend. So. Let's find out what happens next time. Uh, I think... No, not yet. I was going to say, I think I'm ready to go for it now, but I'm not, am I? Okay. Great Britain. But what I didn't do was look for trade with somebody that might have something that would be worthwhile me having. Uh, I'm running at a very, very high tax rate at the moment. I'm hoping to drop that when I um, take the um, Swedish capital. Well, that's the plan, to take their capital anyway. Whether it'll work or not is a different matter. Sweden, what are they going to do? Nothing, the look of it, at the moment. They're repairing that port, can you see? It's got those sort of like um, structural structural walls by the side of it, if you call them that. Perhaps scaffolding walls, maybe. It's a better way to describe it. And, of course, by the end of the game turn, that will be completely repaired again, which is always costing them money, so it's definitely worth me doing it. And I'm going to do it all again, of course. <laughs> right, building constructed. Great. That means I can have three units this time. Can I afford three units? This is the next question. One, two... Aha! I can only afford militia. Unless I get another field piece. And it's not really worth me getting those. Um, I'm afraid it's just going to have to be those two. Can I recruit over here? No, I can't have it. It's just that that I can't afford, isn't it? Uh, it's a shame. I could have done with more. Just at the point when I can recruit more, that happens. I think I might just have to settle for just those two then. Um, Spain. Uh, who can I negotiate with? I could do with a bit of money from somebody. I wonder if somebody will buy something off me. I wonder. 
Well, let's see if they'll swap something for a start. Uh, no. Tell you what, what about... Can I... Sell the plug bayonet for some money? Payments. Can I just get, say, 500 or something? 500 would be very nice. When you're this broke, 500 is great. Right, let's see what that'll do. How about trade agreement as well? To risk a trade agreement? Right. They'll give... They'll give Carnatica, but I've got to give them Iceland and Norway. Oh, that's rubbish. Waste of time. Okay, um... Uh, Ottomans. Will you do trade with me? Hang on, whoever else was there there? No, it's only the Ottomans, isn't it? Let's see if I can get a... Tra okay, trade agreement and then tech. Oh, I could really do with some money from them. I wonder... Well, let's give it a try. And then do... Perhaps ask for a payment of, what, 500 maybe? I'll tell you what, I'll drop it to 400. I could just do with another unit. Is that 400 I click there? Yes, it is. Okay, see what they go for on that one then. Right. Hang on a minute. They'll pay me 300 just for a trade agreement. Uh, I'm going to go for that. Okay, take a trade agreement with them. And I've got a trade agreement with them. I might as well have one with the Marathas as well. So, I oh, still can't afford it. I've got a thousand and eighty-eight. How much do I need? One thousand one hundred ninety-nine. I wonder if the Marathas will pay for trade with me. Uh, request trade agreement. Um, tech. Try that. And then ask for a payment. What do I need? I need about 200, don't I? Let's see if they'll pay me that 200. Uh, Chun, low cast vagabonds? No, they won't do. Okay, will you... Hmm, request trade agreement. Will you pay for just the trade agreement then? Uh, 200. Hang about a minute, that's not 200, is it? 200. Try that. Hey? No, hang on, not doing that. <laughs> um, I want a payment from you, you fool. 200. Right, okay. No wonder it wouldn't go up before. Right, just for a trade agreement. No, Carnatica. Um, oh, I need trade with somebody. Who will trade with me? Louisiana. New Spain. Persia. I wonder if New Spain have got anything. Tech. They haven't got any tech. Payments. Right. Let's see if they'll give me a thousand worth of try, isn't it? Um, and for trade agreement. They might have lots of money. Buy my monarch to discuss a trade agreement for 220. I'll go for that. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Can I afford one now? So, 1,308. How much is that going to cost me? 1,000... Oh, it's not 1,000. Great. It's 1,400 and something. Oh, can I trade with anybody else? I can't trade with anyone else. Oh, I'm so desperate for money. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, what can I do? I haven't got the money. I haven't got the money, so I can't spend it. So, okay, right. I'll wait. <laughs> a little bit longer. Uh, let's go around damaging things then. I'll damage these. Uh, I'll just show you how I damage these. Matter of interest. Say so, this one into here. And then over into there. Because every entrance into a place obviously creates damage. So I just keep damaging this place in the middle here. Because I know it upsets them. <laughs> okay. Then back into there. And then back out there. In fact it might be badly damaged now that. Oh it is. Quite badly damaged. That's good, isn't it? He keeps repairing those, so because it, it's cheap to repair, I suppose. Right, well, I'll go across now and destroy these places yet again, like I've done uh, loads and loads of times before. And if I see any ships further up, then I'll tackle those as well. Um, 
start by moving that uh, sloop into there, doing a bit of damage. Okay, and I'll carry on like that, and I'll do the other one as well, and I'll bring you back in in a minute. Okay, that's done. Just thought I'd show you this before I move on. This is what he's got here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got nine in there. Uh, he's still got his garrison in there, of course, so I don't know what he's intending, but... There is nothing I can do about it anyway, so, okay, over we come, back to here, to defend this trade route. Um, I've been unwilling to have one of these in the past, simply because um, I haven't wanted to invite an attack on the trade route, so that's the thing there. But Okay, let's get this army out of here, and put it over into here. Right, yeah, disappointing. Oh, hang on a minute. What's happened there now? Why can I suddenly afford that now? It is 1,100. I don't know what that's all about, but anyhow. Okay, a bit confused by that, actually. What, what suddenly happened there? But anyway, never mind. Um, okay, buildings are wrecked, ports wrecked. Uh, building up the um, the uh, army as much as I can, um, and the uh, ring bayonet is only one turn away. Whoopie doopy. So things are looking up a bit. Right, okay, um, next turn. I need to move these somewhere else, really, so I can get them into an active position. And then we just have to go for it. The ideal thing would be for him to come partly part of the way down here. Um, so he would leave this place exposed here, but I suspect he's going to leave those up there defending it the whole time, isn't he? So, okay, let's see what happens next. Maybe I'm going to get something else, I don't know. Um... Some trade will open up. Oh, what's that there now? Look at that large army there, sitting in that port. What is he intending to do with that? I bet you, as soon as I attack Stockholm, that large British army on ships is going to come over and attack me. Great. It's a tough game, this Darth Mod Ultimate Commander, I can tell you that. Now... Do I show me? Oh, of course. Show me that, because I've got a trade route with them, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, concentrating. I... It's because I'm seeing all these other things now, isn't it? Um, now I've got these trade routes. So <laughs> you know, whoa, what are all these doing? Look at that, Barbary State. It's a very colourful flag, isn't it? Of course, there's a lot of movement in the Barbary States because they're going along the trade routes. Got to find the same with the pirates as well now, aren't I? Oh, this will be it as well. I'll get piracy, won't I now? Military technology ring bayonet. Right, brilliant. Um, well, we're going to have to go for it wherever the Swedes are. We've, we, you know, I haven't got a choice, really. I've got the men here now. So, I'm going to need... Um, to get these men on these ships. Okay, first of all, these in here. Where are we? These here. Put those on the ships. Right, and then ships over to here. Right. Oh, we'll put these on the ships as well. Everybody who can move is going to move. In terms of that... Um, English army that's threatening at the moment. It doesn't really matter to me. What I'm going to have to do is, um, in fact, what's the quickest way to get onto there? Through there, isn't it? So I think maybe through there is probably the best way. Okay, and then onto there. Right, okay. So, starting to look fairly substantial. And then perhaps over to here. Yep, to pick up these. Okay, over to there. 
Right, and put those on the ships. Right, now what I have to hope for now is that he's moved... Oh, he has. He's moved that army down here. Oh, wow. That's great news. Um, the only trouble is, stopping it, that army attacking here, I need something back in there. Um, hmm. What do I give? Keep the horse, maybe? Send a couple of these units back? I don't know now what to send back. So all I'm thinking is I'll have about eight units in there. Remember, I've got no defensive fortifications in there. He's sending two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's sending nine over to attack me. Um, I haven't really got enough garrison troops to defend that. I certainly need something in there that forces him to attack me. Uh, right. Ah, that's a real bonus, that. I had no idea. He obviously feels strong enough to go for that. See, there's a temptation for me to attack him there now, and then move on there afterwards, but he can recruit probably three per turn in there. Um, mm. My men on here can probably attack him. I think I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to attack him there and then move on. It's going to be the only way, isn't it? Otherwise, he's going to move straight through there and take that when I take this. If I take that. Hmm. Okay. Um. My men at the moment all seem to be off the ship. I don't know how that happened. I don't think I asked for them to come off the ship, but anyway, they are. So, what's he got in there? Um, mm, line infantry, regiment of foot, line infantry, line infantry, demi cannons. Okay, he's got demi cannons. Um, can he intercept with demi cannons? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, let's see if he can. I know they can't come on as reinforcements. Can he intercept with them? I bet you we can. Do you know, wouldn't it be good if I was able to attack with part of these and then still get the rest on the ships? In other words, if these could act as reinforcements for my attack on there, I could just put one horse unit attacking there. These would all come on as reinforcements. I could then take these on the ship and attack over there as well, couldn't I? Oh, that would be great if it was possible. And they are on the road, but are they close enough? Would I then be able to get back on the ships? <sighs> questions, questions. But we're up to 58 minutes. So the question, I'm afraid, is not going to be resolved on this video. So please come back and we'll try. We'll have a look and see if it is possible. Recruitment report. Yes, we know about those. Thank you very much. Um, construction report. Oh, good. Maybe I can start dropping taxes soon. What's that? New royal heir. Frederick. Very good. Okay, right. Next video. Let's see what happens, folks.